All right, guys, welcome to a special edition of the Kiss United Podcast. Today we've uh, nabbed a big fish. Aiden Abdi, baby. Salama, uko, fi, uko fiti? Niko poa mazini yaje? Uko fresh barida. Hey, Unakuanga msoma luku, eh? Ah, tulia. Hii, ini yes. kujaribu, unajua. Hii ni kujaribu? Hii ni kujaribu. Hii sugar. But they have your orange hat, eh? Which one? Oh, yeah, I left it in your car. Yeah, I was wearing it in Mombasa, you guys. Guys are wondering how um, <laughs> luku yangu ime metamorph. Cheki sasa Emmanuel, wende ule Emmanuel wakisinga ni podcast. Hii, <laughs> hey, wakona kofia poa. Cheki podcast ina do well. Cheki, I was right, man. Yeah, I was like, yo, let me call Manu alafu ni mwambia rudishe kofi yangu. <laughs> Mazuli ya chakwa gari. Nika sema, nika sema, no, wacha kijana angare. Ah, you <laughs> guy, now you should just be leaving your jacko. <laughs> Mwenye uri wacha longi. Check, wait, uliacha longi kwa gari? <laughs> Check, yeah, I forgot that longi. Uh, when, when you care? <laughs> uliacha, ulisa huu kifanya dini. <laughs> Check, I don't know what you are doing in the back seat, but it, it, I'll keep it for you, bro. <laughs> And I, yo, you, you saw that story about that uh, Uber driver who was um, Shit, who was jacking off. Ma, was he jacking off or maybe just to mod his member? You guys? To do what? I wonder. Maybe he thinks when the stro- chicks is uh, that member. But then Jojo Air is also in the building. To make a mic up or just in case you feel like uh, vibing. Huh? So, just in case you want to so grace us. Like vibing, cool. Mother, we haven't had that. Can you say that again? I said so far this podcast sucks so I don't <laughs> you guys, we haven't had that all. To say that one more time. So I said this podcast fucking blows. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you for having me. This guy can never just vibe good things. Yeah. I think this guy is disturbed. <laughs> nice to see you, Abdi. It's been a while. Yeah. I'm looking forward to your show. Sorry. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you for the shout out. Doug. So what are we talking about before this guy interrupted us? You guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're talking about the Uber guy. Yeah. W- w- like, what the heck? Was he an Uber us? guy? Is he was a bo- oh, boss? Huh? I don't Sorry. know. I don't know. Should, because uh, I don't wanna, Uber. I don't want like some brand okay. to get the uh, catch the strays over okay, here. Okay, he was uh, one, no, but I think it was boss. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think it was a boss. Yeah, it, it had to be. You guy, did you see that member? No, I didn't. You guy, me saw it. You guy, and I really had to. Yeah. But well, you had to he, pause. He, he, he no, I did, no, I didn't pause. It was mm. obvious. You had to pause. Chicken man. You guy, that member was on that guy's. Uh, Never, you guy. It was one of the longest members on earth, you guy. It was here, you guy, between his cleavage. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Sour. Okay. I'm kidding, you guy. I mean, I mean, but it was just there. But it was a bit. It was super disgusting. Yeah. At least, at least that dude didn't have to like lower his belly button like George <laughs> over here. <laughs> but how was he propping it up with his belt? So what? What do you think he was going through his mind? His mind was uh, saying that if the chick sees his member, she'll get turned on. Eh? Co- yo, co- no, I mean, yeah, I mean, because it's weird because the, the, the chick was, I mean, there were two girls in the car. Yeah. One was taking the shotgun uh-huh. and the other was at the back. So, yeah, I mean, he must have known she was going to see it. Yeah. yeah. But I think he was doing it so that she sees it. Oh, yeah. But you get that, it's crazy. But now the fact that he's doing it, what does that mean? Does he do it all the time? Like, has he ever come across a chick who sees his member and then she's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Dude, yeah. But still, that's crazy. Hey, we have a lot of perverts out here. You guys may sit short. I sit at the back, you guys, when if I'm a guy in an Uber. You, do you sit at the front? Yeah, at the back. At the back. Oh, you are you worried? Yeah. Oh, you worried? Yeah? I, I am worried, man. Well, that guy can start passing your thighs, huh? And, I mean, yeah, you, you never know. You can get robbed, Buddha. But so you can also get robbed at the back, huh? No, but like Niraisi Kufungu, Mlango na Kuni. Na Kuchomoka. Yeah. Check that guy, you guy on your thighs, check it's a wood, it's a moon, and a side gun here, Nairobi. Gay, <laughs> pull some MMA stuff on him, you guy. I actually texted all the chicks I know and told them never to panda bolt when I saw that thing. Because you, you guy, you're, it's, it's crazy. You guy. It's cr- yo, it's crazy. Me, me, I have, you know, friends, you know, um, girls, I know, you know, uh, family members who are girls. Send me share share with me their rides on Uber mm. all the time mm. when they're traveling. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh, they share the ride. Yeah, then. I'm like, sh- share the ride with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come out share them to just you know it in our account a lot. Mm. Like you, and this, the, and this girl has people that care about. And her. they're watching the trip. Yes, 
Yes, but you get that scary, man. It's scary that you have to do that. My sister kitok a job uh-huh. all the time. Oh, yo, just share your ride with me. Uh-huh. I'm just fake a phone call. Uh-huh. Like oh, hi, yeah, I've shared my trip with you. Yeah, yeah. Tuna pita apa sa. Ni ko kwa KC. Ina mshtua, ina mshtua. When when you share the ride, the driver knows like someone is watching. I think you say it so that they can hear yeah. that someone is oh. uh, But he can't see from his from his end. Uh-huh. He can't he can't okay. confirm. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to say it out loud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think no, that's one of the def- defense strategies. Na sposkia. Check in me buda. Check in buda ni mesema. Ni me share right now. <laughs> you have to do yeah, mbaka askie. But you're good uh, Aiden. It's uh, good to have you here on the podcast. Yes. I saw you on Morph's podcast. Bro. Yeah. How's it over there, man? It's dope. It's uh-huh. dope. Uh, I had so much fun. Uh-huh. How many hours did you do with Morph? 3. You know funny story. We we did uh an hour and a half. Then Kumbe the the Minjes was not recording. Seriously. Yeah. Damn. An hour and a half yeah. of just you know, just straight up fire conversations. Yeah. Kodi was alone. There was no producer Steve Chaloko. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just the two of us. It was Ama alikuwa. Yeah. I mean to kwa sisi peke yetu uh wili. Uh-huh. Alafu, yeah, uh, we had to do an hour. An hour again? Yeah. I had just to go to the mosque. I was like, yeah, because I, I stay in South Sea. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I was like, yeah, let me go pray. Uh-huh. Went back, did an hour. Oh, so it was only Because I was hour. already there. Uh-huh. Like the, 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 the episode that aired. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, so hour. it must be one and a half hours. Did he put it on Spotify? No, uh, I mean we I mean he had the audio, the mm. audio file was there but video equally because yeah. the audio will kind of interface. You can mono kuingia hapo na hiyo sound yako you guys, super power sound you. Actually. Actually. You know unajua tumeshikilia scene na hizi mamenges zetu. So it's me and the you know that you and, you <laughs> and the others. You guys have ever seen this guy super power sound you guys. Hey you guys. Yo mimi ngeze na roga serious mse. Serious. Ni mmoja alibai how much akuni na kelesha for one week. Ntajua this is not the question to ask. <laughs> you get that mimi will be used to show our videos on judgment day. You mm. Check it as you can see on your video which I shot on the Sony. Uh, yeah, Sony is yo. Yeah, I had to. I had to, you know, cuz I'm um, <coughs> really trying to, you know, take my uh, um content seriously. Uh-huh. Cuz cuz I, I was talking to somebody and i was telling it was the, the person was telling me yo um we comedians are still content creators oh okay like in as much as we are purists and we like to have like our own category to thrive and to shine it's like uh-huh. no at the end of the day we produce content uh-huh. so lazima to to chunge content here too we, uh-huh. we you know you know we go for because you post a lot of your comedy content yeah online, eh? yeah when did you start building your page uh this was a punchline no? yes Yes. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Aman. Aman alikuwa na record na camera yake. Eh, uh, at uh, 144p. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Shout out to Aman. Yeah, I mean I, I look at the the footage from you know Aman's camera kitambo and this I'm like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" But you get Aman like that is sick following with that camera you guys. Yeah. yeah. That guy is Mr. Consistent. Yeah, Aman is consistent. Yeah. Aman killed at his special taping and he was at the punchline you guys. On Wednesday. Oh, he was at Punchline on Wednesday. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, Super consistent. My bold in Voy, you guy. It's like, yeah. Check him in Voy, check. Check me have earned this. Check him anew. Yo, me have earned this thing, but now. <laughs> After doing a man show. Check. Oh, no, nimefanya show ya man so nataka holiday flani. So naenda Voy kiasi kuchila hapo Bakani Resort wazi, bro. But like Manu, you know, you know I've been looking at uh, you know, our work ethic as comedians, dog, and and uh, sometimes it's not even just about cc na waketi kitu kutopenda kufanya kazi ama to go on tour it's like there's the, the scene is so small there's literally not much to do like how many times can you like curate your own show yeah true see 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 uh, you, you know you know uh, american comics they go bro on the, they go on the road when atoka hapa they go to this you know uh, town they do like you know two day weekends Saturday yeah. they're booked. Yeah. They do a show on Saturday, right? They do a show on Sunday or Metoka. They rest on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, they have a show in another town, in another state, yeah. Yeah, in another state. So it's like so for us, I mean, it's easy to um give ourselves a lot of um shit. Mm-hmm. About why we, you know, to to na piga show I'm saying and the guest spot, I love us but you may need to go to Voy <laughs> to rest. 
<laughs> to rest after 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 stipend after you've been stipended. Masi, <laughs> check you get carry accounting the three point seven five thousand. You get check I want to. Ah, what's your what's project? But that money always feels really good. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but now you guys, you know, I don't know your story. Eh? You know, the first time I saw you was on Instagram, eh? Uh huh. Uh, I came across a clip you are performing up at Punchline, but they shout out to Punchline. Shout out to so, Punchline. Uh, yeah. You are performing up at Punchline. So I was like, who's this guy? Because me, I was working on radio at that time. Yeah. And then now I, I saw a clip of you, and then uh, I came to Punchline once, but I didn't see you. So I was like, where the heck is this nigga you guy, man? Uh-huh. So how did you start doing stand up, man? Yeah, man. I used to, I used to uh, watch videos of Murumba on youtube and i was thinking Bombing dude I, ca- I can do better than this guy <laughs> I'm, I'm joking it was ribia <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. i was like you're the bar has never been lower dog this this is i can't hack this <laughs> no Me honestly too. uh i used to see videos of uh, murumba ribia and, and onjoro Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, I really love this. This is my uh, my sound. This How did you come across them, man? YouTube. Like, you just YouTube, YouTube, not even Instagram? YouTube. Why did you look for stand-up comedy? Yeah, and English stand-up comedy. What, why, was, why were you looking? Because I really wanted to do it. Oh, you wanted to do it? I really wanted to do it. Because uh-huh. I, I used to write funny uh, blogs. Oh, Tumblr. okay. I used to have like a WordPress site. Yo. Oh, for real? What's yeah. it called? It's called... Funny blog up. No, it's called The Shrewd Somali. The Shrewd oh, Somali. Nice. Is it still up? Yeah. You guys are doing your blog. I cringe, dog. Don't, please don't plug that shit. <laughs> I cringe. Yeah. But it's the, it's the funny thing, yeah? Yo, I used to... This is... Yeah, okay. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't mind, bro. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a Somali. Yeah. No, hold me, my brother. Yes. So that you can laugh at my next joke. <laughs> hold me close. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I used to. Okay, so I I, I used to write vlogs. Easy, easy vlogs. Um, they were funny. I also tried to make vines. Vines were expensive. I remember the first vine I made was um, the budget was for fifty bob. You guy. Then in the script, the katumia beshte angu the kabeni ajin tafti a cast. But the mobile wa rambo na fakuwa ivi. Hey, paka kuli kona wardrobe. Yeah, I didn't know what it was wardrobe. Yeah, nikatu nika nikatuma jama fulani wa wa, wa kinyozi nikataka alikuwa waiter best yang manager can you close shop for like an hour cuz it's called idol time mata kuona wasi come to this place to shoot kitu alafu utarudi so mm-hmm. madem wali kam nikawalipia bike that was about 100 bob tukanunua kahawa mm-hmm. kama prop drinks you guy yeah, ilikuwa prop but oh, ikuwa inaguza check you guys kahawa no you ni you ni you ni prop mliko mna shoot ya Nox to be still Oh okay. Yeah. So um to ka shoot nikaiweka hiyo niko nao mpaka sasa iko volt ya. Sitakangi uli post. Eh ni posting kaenda enda kuna waso alikuwa nao nikai delete afterwards I was like. Mbona uli delete job? It's really it's it's really maybe yangalia napata motivation. I'm like he is stuff like you can see the progression now oh, okay. with everything. Like yeah. ilikuwa uli me post on uh, Instagram. Facebook. Facebook oh, okay. and Instagram. No, so I'll go me check out a project ni malol ni ni. Yeah, kitambo ilikuwa fit. Yo, production value at that time ilikuwa uh-huh. in 2017. Uh-huh. So when did you delete it though? I delete delete because I was like, okay, this is not. Nilikuwa na cringe at that time. No, it's always cringe see on stuff. Yeah. Like even me when I see my old stuff I always cringe. There's a time I deleted everything on my social media. Eh? Uh-huh. And the weird thing is at that time they were looking for a host for for TMI you guys. Holy yeah. shit. So now maze eh, dagger can be can be those was who want to see your stuff. You guys maze me my stuff was long gone like long john silver you guys. So me ni ka tupwa kando mbaya. But still Ty got the gig which was still fine. Yeah. But uh, you see I lost out by, by not posting. Yeah. 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 Cuz I used to think my stuff is whack. And even now when I post something it really takes a lot for me to leave it there. Yeah. Like, imposter is... syndrome dog ah it's I... called imposter syndrome yeah how do you describe imposter syndrome impost ah ah <laughs> uh, yeah it's right there in the name thing we didn't even yeah okay that's that's witty dog that's uh-huh. witty joe judy is one of those some very nice contribution to the podcast uh, yeah at uh-huh. it's a pity he's on a camera so what's imposter syndrome it's really, it's really handsome you know sometimes i ask these questions and guys diss me after the pod uh-huh. there's another day we're doing a pod here with nduta mm-hmm. so uh, uh, nini, uh, couch casting uh-huh. i didn't know the heck couch casting was it yeah so I the, don't. Uh, couch casting ni 
Eh, uh, doing a pod on a couch. <laughs> That's cool. not it. No, but are you guy. It's uh, like uh, a director, uh-huh. uh, some an actor, a female actor wants to get a film, so they come to the couch. Eh? So to impress the director, she offers uh, a sexual favor. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that, bro. Meaning it's a man you are pick a podcast But I didn't know. Me, I like asking something. Yeah, it's dope. it's dope. Yeah. Because they get educated. Kabisa. So to rudi hapo kwa imposter syndrome. Bro. Yeah. Yo, imposter syndrome uh, is something I struggle with a lot. Uh, I mean, now it's much better. Like, it's there. It's, it, I mean, it's... But what is it? It's um, that, that, that feeling that you're never really good enough. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm as well to be Because that's the feeling I get all the time when I post my videos. Yeah. Imposter syndrome is when you're in a new environment and you don't <coughs> feel like you fit in. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you might be qualified, but just because you're in a new environment, you feel like you're not supposed to be there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so it, it's only new environment, or might you can uh, extrapolate it to even not feeling like you're good enough? No, it's, it has to be new environment. You're an imposter. You're feeling like an imposter. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you not, yeah, I mean, yeah, I hear, I hear that. But also, sometimes it's just, I mean, you, you know how when you get opportunities that you've been working for, intentionally and you're like yo i don't deserve this mm. you feel like an imposter you can be an imposter syndrome in your own body in your own success mm-hmm. do you know what i mean like i don't deserve to be in this place yeah like if you had gotten the t- the tmi gig after all the work you've put in you know in radio and in stand up at some point it'd be like yo well, why did i get this mm. and even with blessings he, I mean that that's one I hear what George is saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also you, you know how that thing of you know that thing of um learning how to I mean being awkward around compliments also. Mm. I'm saying a compliment. Oh yeah, hey man dude I love your material. I love your material. You 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 you're a funny dude, super hilarious. Then I'm like uh You guys do you struggle with that stuff? No. Why you post your shit without feeling jack? Me when I post, I can't delete it. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. I just leave it. But there. have you ever felt like uh, deleting? Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't like half my stuff that's out there. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I, I, guess, I, just, I just, just leave it. I don't think it's the stuff. It's it's the the problem is with me, I guess. Like uh, your own nature, you have to overcome that strong yeah. desire to think you. Yeah. Your you're work. Not, you're not good enough. Huh? Yeah. So since I post a kutandika or delete video. Yeah. Hey, hey, I can delete video, man. Mm. I can delete video. At a juicy little record, like a pilot uh, podcast episode, didn't see the light of day, dog. Yeah. I was like, no, I didn't like this thing. I think I can do better than this. It was really Maybe dope. you're too rough on yourself, bro. Yeah. I used yeah. to enjoy watching your Ramadan Chronicles. What are you calling it? Reflections. But you guys used to make Arabic stuff for Kondani. I'm not yeah. understanding. Cheki, the goodness with Shekhas is, uh, <laughs> is uh, a very important thing. So I'm like, what the heck is so if you don't So if you don't know what uh, Israf is, <laughs> Israf is when you have Tawakul. The guys are like, Yo, what is Tawakul? <laughs> Manu's there is like, Israf. Now, what is Tawakul? So Tawakul is when. <laughs> No, but guys were really good. Yeah. They really loved that stuff. Yeah. It wasn't scripted. I used to push myself. I was talking to Momo. Who the heck? Oh, Momo. Momo, Momo from Niaji. Ah. I was like, yo, uh, so now that I take a break uh, during Ramadan from stand-up, I have to put out content. I was like, I challenge you to put out like a 30-day series. Ah. Well, but we've lost track. Back to your, yeah. y- your, your posting that stuff. You're yeah. looking for... Con- a, 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 so between that video you used to shoot yeah and this time you found kinaburumba you were searching for a place to do yeah stand-up. yeah churchill was still there at the moment but i was like this is not i, I saw come churchill to bomb Pamon, yeah i saw it? a video of onjoro bombing on churchill and i was like yeah I used, I used to see onjoro crash it you know at his you know shows english shows and killing money mm. but then i saw one set on churchill i was like yo when they aired it yeah That's moja bad, yeah. just one set I think so you come about the he bombed. Did you mean umona 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 kapi de flani ka on chatil? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think you show kuna show flani ol kona eka ko QTV. Yo. It was called the bombing show. That was Check it. Welcome to the bombing show. The headliner. The bombers took care you guys. Yeah. Onjoro, you Onjoro is a beast. 
Onjori is a beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. So he saw him bomb at that. But it wasn't even about Onjori bombing mostly. It was just me not feeling ah, this is not my. my so ka sasa ukapata je nika DM Onjori niliona open my DM. Yeah, nili DMing you Onjori. Alikuwa ame post two grips. He had posted about two grips in Nairobi Punchland Comedy Club. He was hosting. I was like, "Oh yeah, do you guys take uh, Punchland?" Yeah. Kitu yeah. unajua Punchland ili two grips on Joro is on his run that room. Oh yeah. So maybe you, when you DM'd him, he was still running that room. Ah yeah. Cuz uh, Punchland inherited that room from Onjoro. You get Onjoro was the king of getting rooms, you guys. He still is. Yeah, you got that. He guy. still is. A bad yeah. ass room. He gets get good rooms. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you one one funny story, bro. <laughs> like before I did that uh, my open mic debut had texted on Joro. He he was doing a gig at uh, Bow Box. Oh, so you told him you love him. Yeah, and I Pause. wanted to, you know, you know, just uh, <laughs> couch casting. I can be an I wasn't going to put you on, but now that you brought up couch casting, umesema ni Adam nani? You have a place on my couch. Ah, very sad. And my show. And subsequently <laughs> My on my show <laughs> so bro it's going to be a stand up kabisa joji it can't be you uh neza kuja apa bow box dog what Never. was cutting and bow box oh, he was recording was at, the shift i think box. yes yeah i remember that one yo these guys were recording something for reuters i think senior nile nile episode ile and that had the hard like a feature on reuters yeah 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 no that was a different place that oh. was in bow box but mm. yeah that was yeah. a good mm. oh yeah that was shift i it wasn't sh- Where was he? Shift it was, it was somewhere weird that happened just once. Sorry, I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah. So the, the, the first gig was at Bowbox, Mazi. Jai for na stand up. Nika wana combi dik me. Can I go up? Can I be okay on it nani? Can I be a cam? I can't be a location. It was super cool, but nili chelewa nikapata show chance. Oh, okay. So I didn't go. I'm I'm so grateful to God that I didn't go up. Cuz you guys would have really departed. Tu ninge daddy. Ulikuwa na mamistari umshaandika. Eh. Yeah. Never tried them before. Uh-huh. Uh, so 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 I'm okay it's fine on Wednesday with the two grips. Got my text on Instagram. Uh okay so like and two grips. I was the only open mic the new I was the only new open mic up all. George Ali Kwa remember seeing Justine Shiku Murumba was in the Onjoro went was the host and Lena Pale Kapiga can I be okay so Uh, so, a desk, I sign up. I remember mm-hmm. those times. Inje to a desk. Ndani mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunaperform pale kwa ile bar. Oh, inside. Inside. Indoors, yeah. Inside. Yeah. Walikuwa well, reserve ma manini. Ma meza zilikuwa reserved fit. Nimefika hapo na boy wangu ato Kevo. Kevo shout out to Kevo mzee. Nilifika pale Onjoro akapiga set yake. Yeah, Ni- it's ours. <laughs> <laughs> must have been 5 uh, hours 5 5 check up the nine hours all right guys uh <laughs> the first comedian coming <laughs> on to the <laughs> so he came up to me and said okay so you okay so what's your name oh you're the guy that texted me oh, yeah that's me the one paul I was me kyo like yeah mimi i can be sawa so i'll do some time i'll have to introduce you hey onjoro kupiga onjoro nikaona yo this is harder than say anaua Nikenda yeah. yeah. injana yangu kapia this is a bad idea let's just oh, run I swear to god give work on mbia oh yeah uh, so onjoro went up yo started killing man i was like yo this is yeah this is harder than than i thought you know how you can just you know read the room like uh, yo so i pull my friend outside and i'm like yo let's just bounce mazi ni niku noma akanambia ebu ni chapia mr rizak so ni come chapia akabi yo i think you can hang with this guy You can't beat this guy. I'll never go away. But when you get you need to perform at his level. I mean you just don't want to be embarrassed. Yeah, of course like for anything you do, just try and do do it to the best of your abilities. Boy, I'm going to be this is funny. Let's go Paul and Danny. I'll come make a Paul and Bell the whole time he was recording me, you know, just laughing. So Onjoro went up and said the next comic has never done comedy before. DM me on Instagram, I've forgotten his name. But it's new. He gave me a shit introduction. But I was so happy to just go up. So he went up. You did. Yeah, I got some phantom laughs up on a pali. Like I didn't know what to feel because I'd never done, uh. you know, gone up before. I didn't know what bombing felt like and killing felt like. Uh-huh. Then uh, after that, it was dope. I remember I have the video. I have. I think I have the video. My boy was just gassing me and 
laughing. Oh, he was the, your boy was happy. He was happy, dog. Uh. Like you, even you guys think it's funny. Yeah, just recording everything. Uh, Justin was like, yeah, you did really well. Um, that was a shit introduction, but you did, you did really well. Uh, did you do your Ruto joke at that time? I'm open my hands. <laughs> Check it, William Ruto. <laughs> <laughs> you had this joke about Glovo. Uh. Yo, a joke about Glovo, dog. So right now, I look, I, you know, I just look at my uh, the, the, that uh, bit and I'm like, yeah, I didn't have the, the, the technique to pull that joke off. Yeah. So fast forward, what happened next? Do you, you found yourself a punchline? Yeah. So, so Eric, you had already polished your stuff? No. It was, I, w- I mean, like I, was, like I knew what a punchline <coughs> was and a setup was. Yes, I knew that. I wasn't very technical about it. Justin was like, you did really well. It was on a... Um, a Wednesday, Kulikuana open my Kingine Thursday thing. So I was telling Justin, so so tomorrow I'm going to the alchemist. We Justin can be my brother. If you know if you know what's good for you, Akari, Usienda yo, please. Just don't go. We have a room at Blues every Monday. Just comedians. Just come. Come there. I didn't go to Alchemist because of that. Justin I didn't want. You can make panga Wednesday and then Jerry Buapa. I think it was on Thursdays, you know. Yeah. Wednesday, the the alchemist one. Wednesday, yeah, yeah. You get Murumba was the king of alchemist. Huh? If you mean king of bombing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ah, so so. There was an imposter in doing good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I used to see, you know, other George and Leona video on uh, on on Instagram on, oh, yeah. on YouTube. Hey, where were you finding this guy? You, you have your things on YouTube. Kidogo, yeah. Kidogo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Of course, I'd seen Aman, <coughs> but like I didn't like him because he was on Churchill. Because because Atam material yake then wasn't really any yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you know you have to write for your primary audience. True, true, true. Mm-hmm. I mean now he's the goat. Like I consider him, you know, the goat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you know, Murumba was uh, really funny. Uh, Nani had this joke about Pose and Illuminati. Oh. Ribia. Yeah. That joke is fire, man. Yeah. This is this is this is what I want to do, man. So uli patanaje na Eric Oyo wa punchline. Alikuwa hapo, he was at the show. Oile uh, Nani Onjoro. Yeah. So he came and told you to come through. Yeah, he was he was there. I didn't have the dreads and uh, and everything. Yeah. But he was really kind. He was like, uh, you you uh, you think you have something? Just be coming for the open mics. Yeah. Chicky, make sure you come. You have something. So one of the things you should do is come on Wednesdays, <laughs> and then uh, you'll see what we can do. Okay. Yeah, dog. He took my number. <laughs> gave me his. Uh, then, the next uh, Wednesday, <clears throat> we can come. It was really dope. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like so your Wednesday only murder. Yeah, and pick, yeah, I was more comfortable. The, See, that's why the guys perform inside too. Dying, much, right? Yes. <coughs> we didn't even have like a proper backdrop. No, but that backdrop wasn't bad considering yeah, other we people's had like backdrops. A, yeah, yeah, at that time, it was <laughs> fitty. I still have those photos, man. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to even say, okay, yeah. So, so the yeah. first time you got a good laugh from this kid, man, from this kid, fifty, yeah. The 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 first the first open mic I did, I I didn't know what to feel. I was just like, okay, because mm. uh, like I didn't have like a reference base to uh-huh. bases to, to compare. No, but it always to. just feels good when. But a good laugh is a good laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, like here and there, I, I I wasn't like thrilled, bro. Like I was, I was just okay. When you get what kind of standards do you have? No, the second one, like I'd known what to expect now. So I was like, ah, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Or oh, like you learn to what a good uh, applause break is and stuff like that. No, not really. The, the applause second break? One, yeah, applause break. Yeah, yeah. For your second show? Yo, no, I didn't. It was far no, from that. You can see other guys getting applause breaks. Oh, yeah. But feeling it yourself. Yeah, it's different when you experience it. Yeah. The second, the second time, like I'd known, you know, what to because the corner put laughs on my first attempt, sec, second attempt to put like you know, f- the prominent laughs up on a pile. Mm. Yeah, way better than the first time. But you get your pote at some point. Where did you go? About? Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, this guy loves pote. Yeah? Not really. No, he's I was sick. You pote, so I got, I got, oh, you got sick. I got TB. Shit. Damn. Did you test for freaking HIV? What? <laughs> I didn't even get I'm that. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> the TB is part of the sign for H. I freaking V. No, no, no. I had gone to Mombasa. Yeah, 
You guys, if you go to OC and you have TB, you guys they'll test HIV, which is not bad. They tested for everything, but they yeah. had HIV. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, I got it from 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 a family member. Mm, I yeah. sick. My grandma was. Yeah, she uh, yeah, yeah. She was sure. I got a TB, then she had liver failure, so I was tending to her no, on poly the poly deathbed. Man. Oh shit! Is yeah. she? She passed. Oh, she, no, she she bad. passed. Sorry. Poly poly sh- poly. Like a few days after we got the me and my mom's. Mm. Yeah, I love who I got it from that. Uh, <coughs> that thing is transmissible. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I love not you. You take meds for like six months. Six right? months, and you can't fail. You can't fail. Oh, you, you have to take it continuously over. for six months. I hear. Yo, when it, when when the project is serical. I am you guys. When the project is serical. Mm. Yeah. Because they don't want it spreading yes. around. Yes. It's free. The the meds are free. Wow. But like oh, okay. the like the follow up dog. They walk kona kitabu mazi taki mimi leo. <laughs> but how were you feeling it in your body though? Uh, yeah, I, I was sick. You know, I used to go to, I used to think it was just, it was just um, like normal pneumonia. But the thing is, it used to recur. Like I get, like I get treated for pneumonia with like the highest dose possible. Because it has pneumonia like symptoms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love you in a recur turn. Like, okay, so let let me just get tested. Yeah. Yeah. So my doctor, go to a Dr. Obilo, shout out, Mazi. Okay, shout out Dr. Obilo. Dr. Yeah. Obilo, Mazi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys. Dr. Obilo, Mazi. <laughs> yeah, he runs a private practice. You uh, guys, there's a time I coughed uh, for so long, I even me, I thought I had freaking TB. Uh-huh. You gave me, I was in Ponang. You guys drank like 80 azithromycin. Mm-hmm. You gave me. You guys know azithromycin? No. It's yeah. some uh, antibiotic. It's killer. It's one of those fast body antibiotics. Mara moja kwa TB. Sikiki pata you kitu hapo ndani. Inaipiga mabari, inaihanda. Mazee you guy, but you guy was not born. Eh? Mavidevu. But I think I had some sort of covid like thing. Yeah. So no covid has been in and out still, eh? Despite the fact that it's not mainstream. When when was this? Maybe like 3 months, 4 months ago. Uh, I was actually right, doing no. the podcast and I used to cough all the time. Paka even guys in the pod used to say, "Hey bana, hii pod hii coffee ya manua ishi bana." And what was it? I don't know, but it is at Yeah. Mm. Alright, but also I think the house where I was podcasting from in South B was uh it was moldy. You know, uh. like the walls had mold, eh? so maybe that place was too cold. But anyway, so uh so you guy. So that's why you put okay, this is a nice upgrade, bro. This is a nice upgrade. At least there's no mold here. Yeah. Uh but the loo is shit, you guy. <laughs> You don't have to tell everyone. They don't even know. It's <laughs> just <laughs> us. <laughs> the Louis, I bet you say, Definitely not one <laughs> of my comment like We wouldn't have known, bro. Just <laughs> but I plan to fix up that Lou, you guy. It's a fast class, you guy. Shouts are linking up on Danny, but then you warn, you guy. I'm not going to tell you. Ah, you guy. Yeah, you warn. I tell you, I'm warn. Okay, full disclosure. Before I chip up on that. Full disclosure. I'm going to cook a cola. I'm going to cook. But the Lou is shit. <laughs> the bathroom is not. It, so you guys, so after you pawned, you decided to get back to yeah. doing stand-up. You got to punch. Yeah, kidogo. You got to kidogo, but then uh, COVID happened. See, me nearly could just stand up uh, November 2019. Mm. November, a lot happened, dog. November 2019. Um, you got to punch Yo. You got to punch him Yes. What did you do? You when were you foxing when, somebody. When, when I had TB, you got to punch him corner. Hey, you got the what? devil was undermining your ass, you guys. Yeah. So, so I had to. They, they had to do like surgery or can you have like a. You got what happened to your hand? Playing football. With your hand, you guys. Yeah. That's a handball. <laughs> <laughs> That's a handball, even VR cannot deny. No, listen, I'm a Punji Kam Kona. You fell. Nili nili slide, nili kona slide tackle. Then, mtuwa kani kani ngam kono from behind. I didn't even know. It was crazy. I didn't even know nime Punji Kam Kono. Then I stood up. Akili kwe me register. Chungu nani. I stood up. Okay, so it's our ball. What do you mean? Nime, nime, when you ime ball ime to, ume gonge katoka. Like yeah, play on. To court mefunga moja ili kwa playing two teams kuna a team outside. Tuna lead. Mm. Yo, ili kwa imeandi kwa. Siku ni yende kuzaji yo game yo day. Msaka ni yote. Let's know. We'll just come for you. Kwako will pick you. We'll take draw. We'll give you the first pick. First pick ni yote wana kumbi wacha gua team yako. Na team yako ina anza because we have three teams. Min me cha gua ma pro. Kajua asia wana baati le. I'm very competitive dog. Mm. Eh yeah, so. 
nikamjika mkono which one so uh, so at what point did you have to realize your hand is screwed up my friend was like i think your you, your hand looks weird <laughs> kuangalia yo it was like like this it was like it was facing the wrong side yes oh ili kwa hivi yes i love the photos damn yeah ili kuna ka hivi kabisa because we have two bones yes the radius kavunjika so like so after like five, like two minutes they can like sweat yo sweat na uchungu ka kam so the my friend took his car and he like on me kon me chill to like okay are you the pain at the jackson what's the pain 1 to 10 at that time uh, like i, I a mine was, eight. was like a, no it was like a 6 a cool 9 a 6 oh 6 okay. how was chill that are pale kwa nini kwa 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 waiting room you high fiving people you just as a freaking yeah, issue yeah i was i was i was i was grappling with people <laughs> to cheat so they they switched it back no so so what they did ilikuwa mebunjeka so what they did while they but ya shindano onega shindano ya uchungu alafu i slept i went home because my father didn't want me being treated at, like that hospital in Nairobi West oh, okay yeah so cuz my will go to my doctor up um some Lando. nice hospital yeah shuna <laughs> pale Take this guy in an aeroplane with a messed up hand. Too. <laughs> no, I didn't like the one in Nairobi West. So. It, it, I used to nilikuwa naomba Mungu while they did the X-ray up on Nairobi West Meridian okay. Hospital up on Nairobi West. So tukot mtoka South Sea the nearest hospital liko pale. Atukenda pale uh wakafanya X-ray. Dude, the whole time I was thinking is kwa to like a complete fracture, it kwa to nini? It kwa to dislocation. Yes, because I was like me was thinking about the time factor, yo the cost in oh, time okay. like, ah, i'll be set set back a lot of months me gonna create a sabu man is ba it and rubisha nyuma man kutembea na whatever kila mahali they can't do things comedy pia ilikuwa it's really mm. getting into comedy vizuri it's a crap so i had to like so nikaenda wakaona imenini went for uh, surgery ukaitengeneza imenini you gani nini in mebunjika you guys oh, okay did you do physio yeah afterwards mm well in the pale kwanza the first thing they did the first thing they did was um wali eka straight okafunga plaster wali it was m- so messed up ilikuwa mm-hmm. inaka hivi so kwa physio ni kana physio kwanza wali straighten niche that was straighten the the arm upper wrist was cooked dog Damn. the wrist was totally cooked okay fanya straight wali mbeni wapati handshake mzee and i left uh. i love some guy came afterwards like you did they give you something for the pain i was like no i, I didn't know that was an option mm. <laughs> screw you but some some walk dunga sindano ya pain no hapo ni hapo ni kwa west ah, okay. yeah. so after him and the next day sana kana hospitali they're like before you go for surgery now oh. your surgery will be scheduled for three days from now three yeah. days yeah for now we need to we find a straight to ifunge nini ile whatever crust ikiwa hivyo alafu surgeon atakuwa na after after three days so three days ni kwa hospitali siku ya kwenda theater ya kam began yeah but it healed eventually because i'm seeing now it's uh, yeah, it's see, good man so this like a uh, whatever oh yeah yeah, yeah. i'm seeing mm, this uh, scar over here you guys the guy who stepped yet. on you are you still friends yeah because because like <laughs> Like it wasn't really yeah I was like dude that's Think you get this guy all the time in Mizar guy. Na mwanda. Mbona ina kwanga madhara au mzaki kushika cola hiyo. Hiyo cola it's like umse amenizoea. Like how you doing it in slow motion. You call like I can give you kushika cola it's not usually in 120p frames per second. It's like a apple dog. Uju ya to beshiko. But then you guys when him so my MMA ni ni ni. Yeah, I love MMA. Yeah. Yeah. Do you fight? Like have you done not fighting like yeah. looking for guys to fight? Like mm. do you spar and stuff? Have you ever uh, gone for training? Not really, not like an official training, but I shadow box. You know, uh-huh. Peter kwa kwa mira I'm like <sighs> Oh, okay. Mrembo mrembo wako. Ah. But have you ever fucked somebody up? Yeah, at K1. Yeah. Like the most recent one was about a few years ago. Fighting now is like we una, we, the last time we began it was Dini. Yeah. Well, like, eh bana, can better you guys knew the heck. That was boring, dog. And he was taking it easy on you. Take me. 
But I won the fight for like five seconds, you guys. You did? Okay, that guy kicked me in the head, you guys. Take a pee! Take me! Eh, 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 eh. You got confused. Yeah, I got confused. He punched me. You, you had like the Nini? Yeah, but, but I still felt it. Take a pee! Take a booming pee! Ah, yeah, yeah. You guys come on me, I'm already home. Take me, I'm already home! Wait, I'm checking a train. I'm just checking me, I'm not your head gear, Chris Jr. <laughs> the guy was fucking me up, you guys. Ah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Mifka, how many minutes up? 17. Oh, so, yeah, we can continue for like uh, five more minutes. <laughs> so, uh, so now you pawn out back to punchline. You yeah. can be comedy. You said Shikai now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that was uh, consistent, but not like right now. Like uh, the, 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 the trajectory I've been on uh, for, the, for the last year and a half has been pretty, pretty consistent and dope. Do you normally chalk and guys introduce you as the Somali comedian? A lot, man. A lot. Because now, so maybe say you have like a set list planned out. So now you have to pull yourself from that hole that you didn't dig yourself. Done for Somali comedian. Yeah, I'm like, okay, so it's... it's Check it, ladies there. and gentlemen, this guy is the only cause of those 10 days. This guy, only. This guy used, used to do that, I right? See, okay. Man, he did know. that. I have, have you I have your video. It's on my page, guys. You can, no, it's like, you're my only you guys, Somali give it up for my only Somali friend. Hey, then I'll be... Then I'd go up and be like, you, I'm Emmanuel's only Somali Yeah, we even had a bit you used to start with. Yeah. Ile like Akaten. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I cringe right now when, when I, I do any material related to the Somali. But is it a bad thing? It's not a bad When somebody else? No, as in, mm. like, I'm just trying to put the question out there. George, I'm, it Yeah, the, the, I mean, I feel like... I think a, it's, a, it's a bad thing to identify with who, who like, your, where you're from. It's not a bad thing. It has never been a, an issue for me. Right, but the thing is, right? Like, if you introduced me as a Somali comic and I had a uh, set list planned out in my head, so now I have to address it. Now you can't okay. just, you know, uh, go on with your set. I'm like, oh, yo, so guys, I was recently uh, jacking off. Okay. Yo, bro, it's like, okay, so now you have to address this first. It's here. Oh. It's the elephant in the room. Just uh. talk about it. Like, oh yeah, it's the host just said I'm a, mm. I'm a Somali comedian. This is what I do. But like. I mean, I've never, I mean, right now, I, I, I don't want to be like, of course, now, I'm a big believer of, uh, you know, uh, if you get good at what you do, you'll transcend the ethnic True. noises. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, like, uh, they don't introduce Tre- Trevor Noah as the African community. Yes, right? yes. It's just Trevor Noah, right? It's Trevor Noah. And for me, I mean, when I was starting out, I used to do the low-hanging, now I consider them low-hanging fruits, the jokes about... Somalis about terrorism about bombing I used to do that because you know uh, professionals uh, and beginners have different professional needs pros pros and beginners have different career needs so uh, then I needed to just get the laughs I was just about all right what can I do what can I say uh, to get the laughs Right, so I used to do the jokes. I was like, okay, so this is a stereotype that I fit into. People, that is literally what people see when they when they see me. So let me milk it. Right, and at that point, they do that. That you know, the Somali thing used to work for me a lot. Mm-hmm. But like, as you grow, you're like, yo, dude, I'm better than this. No, I th- I think it's just as you're saying, growth. Because even growth, yeah. even guys who do character comedy. At some point, it it becomes get it, it starts getting old. Yeah. So you realize you have a life beyond the character. Yeah, and it wasn't me though. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like really, really me. Like mm. talking about talking about Somalia as a country. I'm like, I've never been there. Though. You've never been to Somalia. Yeah, I've never been to Somalia. Somalia. Yeah. Can you imagine I've said that you've never been to Somalia? Somali. Got you got, you guys are so ignorant, <laughs> but I don't. There's another chick who's saying she didn't practice Muslim. <laughs> Bro, what, what characters do you have on your podcast nowadays? The, Take it me and then practice Muslim. It's like when you people box you in that and they say things that are not necessarily true. That it's coming all, all the way from, uh, it's coming to us all the way from Italy. I'm like, I, I don't live that. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, 
I, I don't live there. If that was true, yeah, true. like if you knew true. me as a person, if if it's true, if it's my truth, that's dope. My by all yeah, means, yeah, yeah. go up there. I and don't I, think it's tr- even when it's true. Me I used to live in Gong, and people are like all the way from Gong. I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, when Kilimani, we're not even. Yes, the light skin comedian from. I, two I think those are weak, uh, and and I think maybe even me, I should go think of how I introduce guys because yeah. we have the, the host has sometimes we have weak intros. Just the worst. Yeah, Especially so at like open mics when you're doing it, like you have to do it fifty times. Nah. You get bored. Yeah, like all the way from Gong. What the heck? Like how many how many best guy. friends does this host have? <laughs> yeah, Maze. Scooby is a very good friend of mine. Maze, you guys. Yeah, you know, and sometimes and sometimes like w- like what George is saying, right? Like it's not even as as a comic, it's like you think uh about it from the host's perspective. Like, okay, this dude is dying, he's he's doing a shit job up there. Right, he needs everything he can get. He needs all the ammo exactly. he can get. So if this is gonna get him some, some mileage, some laughs, dude, that's that's yeah. that's okay. But like, sometimes they 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 dig that hole too deep for you. But yeah. you had you had a you had a set list, <coughs> dog. I remember yeah. there's once Onjoro said this guy is from Churchill. I choke at you guys. Oh. Mm. Check and this I, guy is from Churchill. Checking me, die. Because me, I was trying to disassociate from that. Thing. Exactly. This is same from thing. Churchill stuff. Eh? But here's what I have to say. Uh-huh. I feel like you need to come up with your own intro and give it to the MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 True. true. Exactly. I, I think yeah. what the MC can do You have do to be is, intentional with it. Exactly. It's yeah. maybe riff about after you're done. Yes. After you're done, it's okay. Yeah. If you're done, it's okay. Because also, uh, like a shit introduction can really mess up your set. Mm. Can really mess up your performance. I'm a big... Be- because you... You're programming the audience members on what cues to sort of pick. Like, hey, this is a Somali guy. N- now we know he's Somali. But like, you know, mm. now when I say something about <coughs> like, like I talk about AI, artificial intelligence, people are like, okay, this is like a, it's like, it's, it's like, a, it's too um, far-fetched from, you know, me, I've had an audience member tell me that, you he posted my picture on his stories. I was like, yo, hey, what are you guys doing AI jokes? But you got it. So, yeah, I, what George is saying is true. We mm. need to, you know, come up with our own introduction and give it to the host. Mm. I used to tell them, don't do... Down, don't, down. Yeah, don't, don't introduce me as the Somali comedian. Uh. Right, that's number one. Because also some comedians are very intentional with their, with their set list. You know, mm. ha, you know. I mean, this is an open mic. I want to be as economical as I possibly can with these five minutes on stage. So if you make me do a bit I didn't want to do because of your introduction, that's not fair. Mm. No, that's a lesson even for me, you guys, because I host quite a bit. So yeah. I work hard on my intros, you guys. I'll no longer say this guy is from Gong. And and sometimes they do your your bit. <coughs> I'll say it's from Gong. Yeah. Guy, you guys. Sometimes they do your bit, man. Ma, say, you guys. That's the worst. Eh? Yeah. You guys, that's nasty. You they guy. do your bit. Uh, At the next comedian has this joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love they bo- I love they kill with your joke. Yo. You guys, that's terrible. You guys. That's comedian funny. is light skin and he never uses <laughs> lip balm in public. Oh. She used to have dreads. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, guys, that's doing. Yo, the, into your I bit. love. I love they kill with your joke. And now you. Now you're the part of the, your joke. You guys, that's <laughs> nasty, man. No, but but you've you've gotten a lot of support nonetheless from the Somali yeah. community, you guys. Yeah, I have. And why I, do you think so? You think uh, like you're a voice for them? Why do you think you've gotten so much traction that fast? Uh, yeah, why do you think them? your community likes you very much? Yeah, why do you think so, bro? I mean, I mean, I like to believe it's because of my talent. Uh, the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Check the truth is, okay. Uh, okay, so, I have no clue. So, so the no truth clue. is, I'm, I'm really good looking and I dress well. <laughs> that's why. But like, no, no, no. No, but everyone wants a hero from... Uh, yeah, from there's the, that thing of, you know, rooting for somebody, home. especially if you guys are a minority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. in, in this space, like, we are very underrepresented in, yeah. this, in this space. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, th- yo, that is dope. It, the support has been overwhelming, man. Mm. It's so overwhelming. Mm-hmm. They come out like, yo, this guy is one of, one of us. Yeah. So, but, but do you normally feel like you want to go beyond? Like, uh, yeah. Uh, like, you want to appeal. Yes, thank God for this base of my guys, but you want to yeah. transcend. Yeah. I feel like all comedians would like yeah. that, right? Yeah. So, 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 uh, I like to think of it this way. So, it's, um, center to periphery business model so the center is okay. like 
Center to periphery, bro. Another didn't even look like it was anything. It's just another. He uses it, Kawaida. Center to periphery, bro. So you start out. You start out niche. The people who support you, man. It's mm. like this is the core fan base. Mm. These people will, you know, ride or they, die. Baby. Yes, day one. They, they'll day one stop. They like you. It doesn't it doesn't really matter how you know you, you got them in a room for a show. So for them, it's just a matter of you know, don't be an asshole. Some of them are like, f- I mean, for me, they're like, just okay. It's for me. I just want to support you, dog. I just want to see you win. So for them, it's. For you to retain them, it's like, don't be an asshole, just be a nice person. They'll always be there. Mm. And also, now, they can, you know, uh, get to know who this guy is beyond this comedian now. Be- beyond, he's one of us. It's like, yo, I mean, I, I love you, you, you're one of us, but I love your Ruto joke. Oh, okay. I'm like, it's, yeah, that's dope. Do you feel judged when you do sex jokes? Do you do sex jokes? No, I don't. No, he has a couple, not many. Yeah, kilo, like, kilo, do you feel like it limits your material? Maybe that's a better question. Uh, no, cause, 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 like, yo, I, I, I got into stand up for myself. Okay. But like that's it. I'm not, I'm not like really drawn to to that. I feel like now is when I'm finding my voice as a as a comedian. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm writing about things that I love, and the I'm conf- life. Yes, I'm confident in my ability to pull it off, whatever it may be. Like I can joke about therapy. I can can joke about this because I love this. Right, uh, it yeah, it limits you because you know sometimes you because I'm I'm a pretty spiritual person. Yeah, this once you told me you really think about what the younger k- uh, kids will think when they see you. As yeah, you go on the up and up. You remember true, that conversation? True. Yeah, I I used to care about that. Still do. Well, now you don't. Okay. No, I I still do. But like I'm like I'll I'll do it to the best of my ability. People want to joke about vibrators. I'll joke about vibrators. Mm. But also, because me, I'm pretty spiritual. So blasphemy is out of the window for me. Yeah, I, I can't do that. I, I, I know I, ca- I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. So, so it's... That one, George will do. That one, <laughs> Murumba and George. <laughs> yeah, but, no. but you know them, they don't mind the hell. Can I ask, uh, coming from like a minority community and you see them coming to support you, do you feel the need to like, after the show, come and say hi, hello... Because me, I don't have like a community I can say like they are yeah. here personally yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. And I'm not saying the other people don't like mm-hmm. you as a comedian, mm-hmm. but there's this community who's come to see you. Yeah. Do you feel the need to like know them personally because... Uh-huh. I mean, yes. I, I, and this is, this is what I've been trying to do for like the past, past year. Not just even the Somali comedians, right? The so- Somali audience members. Just anybody that... Is there for me, like you know, you know how somebody can you know follow you on Instagram, mm. you know, like you, know, like you know your content is like you. This person is gonna be here. I post. I used to post like, dude, <laughs> I used to put out like, um, like uh, you know, uh, posters f- for my open mic appearances. <laughs> yeah. and people, that shit used to work. Like I'd get a lot of take from comedians. Like you, you're posting your open mic tour <laughs> tour mm. dates in uh, yeah that's it, crazy but it could work it, it used to yeah, work that's a, people like this guy's crazy. gonna be here at wama africa ah. at this day they'll come so oh, so gosh. i used to tell uh myself i'm i'm not gonna wait for the day i become so good at stand-up um i, I become like at a, i get to like a reasonable uh, place in this journey for me to start building my community. So I was like, I'm going to try and build this community as I grow. It's like like this. You, and that's the thing I've, uh, I've learned even with the podcast. Yeah. I learned it's not, because Kitambo, it used to be hit the smash, see the like button yeah. and subscribe. Yeah. yeah. It's more than that. You it's you more, build a community. It's more. It's more. So after you're building, and it's one by one, one girl you, to you one You have to know to them. Yeah, yeah. You have to know after the show. I go yeah. out. I, I mean, I mean, for what you're asking, like if it's like a Muslim, Somali, you know them, you know, I mean, I don't want to assume, but like, if you see a Mokorino, you'll not be like, that's a Somali, you know how they are. Yeah, they are white. (laughs) What's the Mokorino headgear? Most of the time it's white, yeah. Most of the time, the clean ones are white. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, this is, I I don't want to start like a religious war, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have a lot going on in Israel at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Our butts are clenched here to you. Yeah. So, so you go say yeah, hi. Yeah, I go. Now. I'm like, uh, hey man, uh, thank you so much for coming out to, to support me, get home safe. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be doing a spot at Chemi Chemi Levels Come Lounge on Friday. Come through if you can. I do that. I also follow them back on Instagram. I'm trying to build that oh, community. Oh, you follow them back? Yeah. I, I follow them Me back. Is where I, joke. I follow them back. I post about their businesses. Oh, no. I Damn. wish them happy birthday, dog. This guy, you guy no, even, that's uh, too much for me. This guy even goes and babysits that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so, okay, so when, when is this meeting? Yeah, I can move some things around. Yeah, but I think that guy. How old is the toy? Take like, away, talk up <laughs> on Nani Mohammed, eh? You can't get your wire. You guys, you're going all out, bro. Yeah, you, you have to, man. Because, cause, like, the convert, you know, for you to convert uh, these people from just people who uh, like your video to people who will pay money to come see you. That's dark. No, but uh, it takes a lot. In, uh, you have to, to put, yeah, it's like. I read, about, I read in uh, Kevin Hart's book, they really, he really used to work so hard to get people even to his uh, sort of open mics. Huh? Yo. They'd hand out flyers, like, they'd go all out and really work hard. Me, hand out flyers. So, you guys know, our building community is a very important thing, bro. Yeah, it's important, Mazi. It's important to you go. You babysit, ni ni ni. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll move some things around. Just tell me what you you washed for them. What your sons are. Check it, yeah. Me me peel for one go. Are your clothes clean? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. And that you and that is one thing I uh, that that pisses off some of you know my uh, my girl. You know, she. I mean, I, I go to her, you know, for this open mics, and she's like, yeah, okay, so. I'm like just a minute. Let me go say do. Uh, Whether you guys, that's dangerous. You guys, you have to maybe not go with her for the show, or <coughs> what's dangerous? Or when you're with her, maybe you don't get engaged so much. In, no, I don't uh, engage fan, so much. Fandom. Yeah, but because, like because that jealousy of yeah, uh, yeah. you're putting it's this guy the, ahead of me. No, it's the. I mean, she gets it for the most part. Mm. But you know, yeah. I mean, we, she comes to some of these open mics, and I'm like, she's waiting for me. After after the show, I'm like, let me just go and do some PR. Uh, so you have to explain to her beforehand, right? She knows, yeah. yeah. She's like aware of what's happening. Uh-huh. So I go, I I do PR, man. Mm. So because th- because conversion is really important. There's a mm. difference between it's like this person is going out of their way to come to um, to your show. Mm. I mean, I mean, it's an exchange of value, right? Because you're making them laugh. They're enjoying mm. you as a creative, but like also, how can you? bring some value addition yeah no true no i feel you man and it's something we all have to learn how to do if we're gonna get into the business side of this thing. Yo, you so you guys you're you you have a special coming up you guys uh yes yes uh it's, must be special it's, showcase. it's a showcase special is too much pressure what's the date uh, so the, the the show happens on the 11th of November. It's happening on the 11th of so November. So it's like uh, the other weekend. Yeah. From, from this weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. At the Lyons Francais, Wangari okay. uh, Mathai Auditorium, Ikopali Lyons Francais. It's a beautiful auditorium. Mm. Uh, you are truly, Buona Emanuel will be the host. Yeah, I'll be hosting that shit, bruh. Mazi. You guys. So. Who you else it? is on it? No, it's just me and this guy. Oh, there's no opener. This, this, yeah, we have openers. Kidding you. We have oh. openers. <laughs> we Who's have the openers. opener? You no, that, the that's like a uh, surprise for the for the for the for the so for the audience members. Openers? Yeah, yeah, oh. I do have opener. I have two openers. I oh. uh, have three openers. One is doing five minutes. You don't want to tell us? No. Why you guys? No, because yeah, uh, it is one. Drop yeah, at least man. one. Okay, Doug, There's Doug Mutai, Doug Mutai is yeah. doing. Is, is There's doing. some guys will come just because of the openness. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, true, true, yeah. very true. So, uh, Doug Mutai uh-huh. will do the opener spot. Okay. Then the, the other two, you guys will have to find out at yeah. the show. Oh, okay. All okay. right. Fair do you, enough. Do you have a name for your for your fans? What do you call them? I don't. I don't. Have a name. They call themselves Nziges, no? Hey, Nzige is Mazi. Because Mazi wana furikanga hapa kama Nzige, you guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Vanessa. Thank you so much for explaining. So, yeah, by the way, if you, if you, if you're around, come through. Yeah, Mazi, Nzige is out. Mi pia ni Nzige, Montenu. Mazi, come in through to support you, boy, wa hours. I'm sure that show will be dope. Of course. Yeah, inshallah. We hope so. How long are you planning to do? I'm planning to do 50 minutes. 50, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you you must have channel with an hour by 10 minutes. Why are you making the hour feel bad? Check <laughs> yeah. the hour looking at the 50 minute mark. Check yeah. 
Well, we do, 50 is quite specific, man. Yeah, 50 is uh, the sweet spot, I think. But I think you'll hit on our most probably. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because you have the stage, you have the laugh time. Yeah. yeah. So you'll just find, and then the emotion of it all. You guys are really doing specials, man. Can I, I close? <laughs> Yeah, that's actually yeah, that's dope. You can headline my special. Bro. <laughs> no. Check it now, take it me the host. All right, after Aiden Abdi, who we were here for, we have one more guy. Yeah, we we have George Barrero to close we the have premises. An attention seeker in the house to close. Take it, come back, guys. Come back. We have one more guy. Uh, no, it's okay. It's gonna. Have close. you named your show? Yeah, it's called. But seriously, though. Well, where did ah, the name nice. come from? I'm yeah, the, the name is about because 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 like I I was telling you um I'm trying to be um really trying to find my voice as a okay. as, as as a stand up comedian and, and and now for me now is more than just getting the laughs man okay. yeah I wanna I wanna put out meaningful and impactful material out there oh, nice. so I, I wanna I wanna you know give them something that's true to my uh to myself as a person and as a creative uh. so it's like so what are the things that i'm passionate about like say uh, police brutality ethnic profiling uh, mental health so just like you're trying to it's like i'm giving s- b- the people something to laugh about but then also something to think about it's like oh, okay that's okay that's messed up okay that's funny but seriously though you, have you guys you know oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So. no that's dope Marzi. yeah uh if, is family gonna be around Oh uh, yeah, yeah. My uh, brother is gonna be be a ticketing <laughs> shout out to family, bro. No, are they like is your are your parents gonna come? No, there? no, no. My sister is gonna be there. Though. Where is your dad gonna be at, bro? Uh, I don't know. Probably is. Uh, invited him, I I don't want my 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 That's pops there. going with these with these questions. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You Jeff? <laughs> yeah, she's the first person that bought a ticket. Nice. Why don't you want your dad there? With you your know? money. <laughs> Abi, can I get 2000? I didn't. Like, complimentary. Check it, I even supported you. I came for your show. <laughs> yo, yo, but like, yeah, yeah, shout out to Mbrembo. Mbrembo has been really supportive. Why would you want your, 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 your pops? Yeah, there, b- because I, it's, I feel like you wouldn't get what I'm doing uh-huh. or what I'm trying to, to do with my, my stand up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mondre. Yeah, my mom is chill, but she yeah also with her. Like this is my journey, man. This uh-huh. is, I don't want them to experience this with me. Do you feel like they'll make your ass a bit clenched to queue up on stage if you see them over there? Yeah, because me, I was feeling it in in a man's show. His mom was there. Yeah, she so was even, sitting even right me, next to me. A man is wild. Even me, I was like, hey, a man's mother is here. Let me chill out. And she know. was she was having a blast. Oh, for real? She was back. laughing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she was having a blast. So maybe one day, one time, your old man will be able to attend without you feeling some uh, type of way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for me, stand up is an individual journey, man. Uh. It's my thing. Uh-huh. Like I, I, I feel like I should reserve the right to choose who I let into my space. But what if they choose to come in? Like you can't get keep and say no, you don't come. Eventually, maybe they'll just come on their own. You, yeah, you get okay, my point. okay, that's yeah, that's. But fine. let that happen when it happens. Yeah, let that happen when it happens. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. now, intentionally, like uh, no. Where's where's your shags with it? There's a time I saw you on, in a picture inside some sort of hat. Is yeah. What Oh, is, is, is yeah. that your shags? Yes. So are, are those the homes guys live in? Yeah, I mean the huts. Yeah. Because you in a hot hut, like proper hot. Yeah, that's where people home. chill. That's where people chill because it's so sunny and hot. Uh huh. So it's really, uh, it's like a windbreaker sort of uh, structure uh. for the, you know to shelter you against the wind and the, the it's so it's like really really cool inside there. Oh okay. Yeah, it's really comfortable. You show how comfortable. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 yo, yeah. It's yeah. really comfortable, man. Uh, but like, yo, we have houses like. Bricks. Oh, okay, okay. Brick and mortar. No, but bricks? obviously, if you're if you're not wealthy enough, that's the yeah. one that you live in, right? Yeah, shags is just shags, shags. Yeah, like it's like any shags. Yeah. yeah, depending on your financial capability. Yeah, but like for that one, for the, those houses, was it to me? I come, uh, you know, place to chill. Oh, okay, just to break from the, the heat, siesta. Yeah. Uh, where do you guys get water from? Is there like a river around? Uh, not really. We we dig wells. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those wells must be freaking deep, huh? Yeah, Sana. Uh, the aquifers are very rich. Does it still feel like uh, you know the way guys say those says uh, people say Ukwata see Kenya, Baria Kenya? It, does it feel still feel like that right now? Uh, well, not really, 
but I mean, in a way, yes, because like, okay, Nepal, it's like you're closed off. Like everybody's a Somali there. Oh, okay. Everybody there. I, I mean, except maybe for Makarao, Makarao. Kambas are there. Kambas and, 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 and like, the, 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 in Somalis, we get along a lot. Oh, okay. So, okay, and Garisa or Kambas, I mean, yeah. What do they do primarily? Construction. Oh, okay. You're like the, in, in, and in. And the tire. Ma- me, yeah, I, <laughs> the mechanics industry. <laughs> yeah. trend, Mechanical make, engineering. Check it the camera guy with your tire. Cambas are like the Mexicans of Wajia. <laughs> <laughs> like they'll build anything, dog. Yeah. So they're they're doing mad construction. Yeah, yeah. Like 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 where I live, Wajir North. There's this guy called Maluki dog. Guy gets all the the gigs, the contracts. Oh, for real? Building houses. So schools. he's a top dog the site. Yeah, Ameleta his Kamba people. It's top like, Gita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> top dog, <laughs> top <laughs> top, to the top, top dog, dog bro. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he's there, he's there. I'm saying, I'm eh, uchapakazi, eh, uchapakazi. I mean, I'm all right. I love when I do. I want to go to Nepal. Seamlessly, no Somali, we want to get on a tour. It's dope. Ah, uh, no language barrier. Ni Akuna. Ni. People know Kiswahili. Kiswahili. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, with okay, schools. Yeah, yeah. Ignorant as questions, you guys over here. Yeah. 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 Do you know, guys, oh, do Kamba speak Wajirnis? This guy is stupid. <laughs> I'm like no, they they're, they're mostly into Mandarinness. <laughs> so Wajir is uh, it, it's like how do you get there? Like it's yeah, yeah mostly just Garissa. flights <laughs> <laughs> by road. I'm guessing. <laughs> no, we we take flights from. <laughs> I'm not even messing with you. From Wilson to Wajir. Oh, airport. there's a flight you guys for yeah. real. Even, oh, from, how about even to Mandara. No? Okay, so okay, you have to. Yeah, you can. That, that's like the longest route. Oh. You can go through Garissa. Garissa, you know, it's like fully tarmacked from here to Garissa. Mm. Then from there it's Mates or even more. It's like yeah. It's like I should have taken Shit. that flight. Check <laughs> <laughs> the guys just lengthen you guys instead of buying. Yeah, those flights, <laughs> man, they're, they're, they're fully booked, Mazi. What the flights, the flights to flights? from from Wilson to Mandera, from mm. Wilson to Garissa, from Wilson to. Oh, it's hard to get a flight. It's a seat. <sighs> it's business people. Yeah, just normal people, dog. Mm. people with with families like like okay so why what it's like an uh 20 hour drive oh okay so you'd rather just take that flight yeah tomorrow. oh it's but now how much is it how much is it? one way uh one way it depends like low season it's about uh, three cows and a goat yeah uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah we use that currency but yeah seven g's to a year no but seven g's that's not bad, bad right yeah it's not bad but high season why she me or here more who travel and we go booked yo Twenty thousand dog. Uh, two flights a day. Yeah. Uh-huh. They yeah. should bump it up to more flights. But you guys, why don't you invite us? Say so we don't ask these stupid questions. Uh, yeah, we should. What do you mean by we should? You guys, <laughs> I'm telling you this for long. You guys, we, you, you guys will be eighty-four, and this guy is saying we should we take him away, guys. We, we, we should bury you in what? <laughs> in that hut. <laughs> take me in that hut, you guys. Take it over here. It's cool, huh? So Very comfortable. Like, you, I've really thought about having like a show in Garissa, but like yo, you can't, especially in Garissa. We have the the the, the, the this body called Soup Kim. The it's called. Well, the Supreme the Council of Muslims. Supreme Council of Muslims. Yeah. See, look at this guy. Hey, finia, I'm finia, you know, Yeah. Yeah. Killing you, you it, you guys. You have to get like acronyms. a permit. You have to get like a permit, dog. For. For having like a show where there's like free mixing, seriously, between Are men and women. See? What? Yeah. You get that powerful the sides. Yo. Damn it. Yo. Yo. So you go and explain to the. Okay, chef. so this is a show where girls will sit over here, and men over here. Oh. There'll be no free mixing. These are the jokes I'll do. Okay, but do. But okay, no, the vibrator <laughs> joke is not making the cut. If you really need this show, this one has to go. Oh. You, yeah. Even what you pretty uptight. It's very it's conservative. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this guy has another LGBT joke, which when he does, my ass clenches. You guys, <laughs> check it, my ass. Check it. Okay, it is time for some clenching stuff. <laughs> You're giving away his material for the no, but the show. Uh, but <laughs> uh, showing Garish. No, but I'm not saying. <laughs> now Sukim are not gonna give me that permit. <laughs> you guys, Sukim have to watch this pod. <laughs> Take Sup- it. Let us watch. Uh, Sukim, the Supreme Council of uh, Muslim in Kenya. <clears throat> I mean, Wait, probably butchered the... Where is soup came coming from? Um, like, where is the E? Uh, <coughs> there is in Sorry, the K. Kenya. Kenya. Okay. Kenya. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Kenya, you guys. <laughs>
<laughs> so you guys, uh, Leah, Leah, I'm quite curious about traveling to Ajeri there. On yeah, it's days. dope, man. It's like we have resorts, like really wonderful resorts, uh, uh, swimming pools. This is probably going to be hard for you to believe. Have you ever found an Ethiopian chick walking in town with a Kenyan a, dude? A, a, a Kenyan dude, very hard. But then it's like it's. I feel like it's more of Culture. you know. Not, not really. It's like what's convenient for you. you p- people always look for convenience. True. It's like even Calais. Calais go for Calais. Yeah, true. Dog, you guys. It, yeah, <laughs> just a lot of Calais. You just like name drop everybody you know on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's convenience, dog. Like you guys have the same social preferences. You have a lot to work with. Yeah. Language. Yeah, Probably man. brought up the same way. Yeah. But I'm sure there's some random guy that was married to a Somali chick and vice versa. Yeah. Some Kamba. Yeah, like they're not intermarrying. But now you have to convert and become a Muslim, you guy. Uh, it's, it like, can't be like that. Others, other others, other others there. Like, see, we have uh, Idris Elba. His wife is a Somali. But not a Kenyan Somali guy. But I mean, that's the thing. I'm, I'm They've grown up in Britain. Yeah. That's a whole different so we have culture. others in Kenya who are like very exposed. Mm. Like me, me, I was brought up in Nakuru County, dog. So yeah. I'm like, like I know, but for me, it's like convenience, dog. Like th- this one, we like the same food, you know. We we know and ex- have experienced the same culture, so it's like it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. It's have you dated easy. outside of your ethnic background? Uh, no, I'm a tribe. Yeah, yeah, tribe. Yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. But, but no. Have you ever called Adam Kamba? <laughs> okay, shit, shit. <laughs> no, they be mostly working uh, in Wajia. Wakupale kwa contracts. Don't have time. <laughs> we don't have to. Don't have time for us. Ah, okay, like, I'm kidding, you guy. But but you have though. Have dated some. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. You've dated outside your 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 tribe. <clears throat> have you ever? Uh, but I find those uh, like so, like Ethiopian chicks, Somali, they're hot, you guy. Like a nonsense. You guy. Yeah. She can be converting you that, That's not a compliment. It's like nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> they're bad. Yeah, they're chicks. bad. Yeah, Badder than look, bad. Yeah, they look yeah. really good. See, see, when as we look at <clears throat> Kikuyu chicks, Kao chicks, like, yo. Thing is really good, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I must say. But the, what you've said about convenience is good. Convenience like, one, one time I found myself in the middle of Meru on a bike. I really hmm. asked myself how I got here, you guys. Chasing chicks. No, I was going to see oh. my. I was going to my wife's oh, your wife. place. Your ex. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Like, shit. How did I? Like you can cut here, you can find yourself in the most the far flung mm-hmm. joint on a picky picky. They can be eesh, difficult up. So it's great when you're dating or getting married to someone. You're actually getting married to a whole community. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to think about that. And also on you have a to, very serious note. To, to think about your kids, dog. Like, I mean, what identities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want them to have like? Just make it easy for them. Yeah. Make it easy for them. Yeah, true. It's like, yeah, shags nigani. And then what language? Are you what speak? language do you want your kids to to speak? Mm. How many languages? I mean, shags ikwe wapi. Religion is also another. Yeah, sure. Culture it's and food. One. It's like it's like yeah, just give them something you know good to work with. Mm. What could you, okay, so this is our identity. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Look and also, it. yeah, it, I mean, it's I mean, I get the fact that like, uh, you can like for myself, I can marry anybody. So long as they're Muslim, right? But like, you you have to look at what is convenient, f- even for them, right? For so like them, they have to come yes. and uh, assimilate into the yes. culture. And yes. I used to see how my wife used to struggle when you're in Luanditi. Yeah? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice, you guys. Those lunges really used to piss her off. Yake yote, you guys. But so she used to just hide in one of the buildings. Damn, that's tough. Chomoka friends are lunge, you guys sending you. Check it out, make out up and up on a yako and a paper match. Check it out. Shit, una ni onelele. <laughs> Taking me, you guy, with my magic. <laughs> but you see, it, it's it's a huge cultural difference, man. It's you solve a you solve you solve a lot of problems. Almost half by just getting into someone who's yeah. You're from if, the same even for yourself, the mental hassle. Like if her mom comes to stay with you guys, you know you don't That's have it. to like change your whole you know menu. Yeah, yeah Like yeah. she'll eat what you guys are. Or having. sometimes you wanna leave her maybe at your place for a while. Yeah. That's why I mean, I'm going to marry my cousin. <laughs> Convenience, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. That's dope. I'm glad you mentioned that. Because, uh, yeah, you, you, you also don't have to, like, fake 
or pretend you love her yeah. her in-laws because they're just people you know they're your yeah, uncle you know yeah. me to my family yeah then for the 50th time for you guys <laughs> from the family yeah. no but you guys uh, is there something you want to say yeah no just, i wanted to talk to you about you you, you know relationships and and then women and yeah, what about it how are you feeling no i'm good man i'm mm-hmm. uh, we're good my me and my miss uh, missus are all right i think we are better apart than we were together at least for now so uh, we speak we we are amicable right now that's still yeah, yeah so uh, like uh, things are just weirdly wa- trudging along pole pole we haven't defined what's going to cut next but that's where we are This at least I, I got out of that stress. When I was in Saudi, I was pretty stressed, you guys. Oh, yeah. well, I was really pitying you guys. First of all, that studio was expensive, you guys. Most of my money was just going to paying the rent. Check him, it's going the money, check. So I got out of there. I've come to this smaller uh, space, which is uh, really it's within, within the budget. And then, uh, you know, Kitengela is still there. So life is just, the podcast is back. You're here, we're doing a pod. George is here. So I guess uh, life is moving on, bro. Yeah dude and the fact that you 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 can talk about it is really powerful dog yeah, like yeah man yeah, yeah. especially But on the internet especially on the internet so yeah. like she died no i mean it's <laughs> like a beautiful thing he had you know like how long have you guys been you know together <laughs> like uh, 14 years okay. she yeah. i mean the relationship years. died dog <laughs> <laughs> that's what i was saying take the relationship in one year you guys that hack you guys But at least it's cool you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool under that hat. But you got all the best with your special. Thank you. Uh, Thank sorry you. about Akisha did you to to finish. No, no worries. I'm sorry. But I on this you. podcast maze unakuja alafu you keep coming. Uh, mm. It's not one of those one hit wonders, eh? Uh, okay. So you come uh, I'm sure this is your debut. Mm-hmm. But you're welcome back to Thank you. Thank you for chop it up any time. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. B- big fan of the podcast by the way. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, well, I know that I have you now. Just love how ignorant you you, you are <laughs> about <laughs> things. Yeah, yeah. I know to that point like ignorance. There's this words uh Islam folk use inshallah means inshallah means if God wills it. Okay, and before you eat there's something they say Bismillah. Bismillah. What's Bismillah? In the name of God. Oh, the okay. name yeah the most gracious so, the most thank most. you no god uh, that one before you die you guy you just make the shahada you know the islam is built upon tawhid tawhid is re- it's just uh, the, the the concept the belief that there's no one worthy of worship except allah and muhammad is his prophet that mm-hmm. yeah. when you say that before you die so is that what someone says when yeah. saying it land something la ilaha illa allah it means la it's no La ilaha ilaha is God. Illa Allah. Illa ni ispokuwa Allah. There's no god except Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. Wa ashhadu you say ashhadu na shuhudia. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Muhammad and also bear witness that Muhammad Rasulullah is his prophet. Oh, okay. See, so but you guys you oh, need nice. some time before you conk out to do my little sentence, huh? Not yeah, really. for us. At, yeah, I mean, <laughs> take you in the middle check. Hey, 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 ni me, ni me had a few sentences. But, uh-huh. but like I know I'm people, kidding, bro. I know people who were me, were me, were me convert like reverts. You just took them like barely five years dog like they are like at the same level with us. Mm-hmm. Is it a must you learn Arabic to convert? No. You, you can keep even your name it's just that awareness uh-huh. that you, like your god conscious your allah conscious like you know this this no one worthy of worship except god and so, muhammad so it's not a must you learn uh, arabic so to speak yeah you can learn how to pray you can learn the quran the, the quran prayers. is in arabic oh okay okay and that's written there's no arabic. english version of the quran there is okay okay but learning how to pray you m- must learn the you know how to say them in arabic Oh, okay. Because the but it's not a must. Learning the learning Arabic is not a must. Like learning the Quran is good because it's yeah, like yeah, the yeah, Bible. Uh-huh. Like on a translation, yes. But like for you to pray, you, we say it in Arabic. You okay. recite. You don't recite the translation. You recite the actual words that were oh, that okay. the Quran was. You know. I think you guys, if they allow the various like um, uh, more languages, you reach more guys. See, we have Quran. You know, translated to Kamba. As in praying in say Kikawa. In Kao. Yeah. Yeah, that would be interesting, Lizzie, to you guys. 
<laughs> but we we don't have one in Kisi. Like I uh, know you guys are just noise makers, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just rowdy as hell. Bro. But anyway, that's just. But seriously though. But seriously though. But seriously though, yeah. you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you guys. All the best <laughs> with your special. Appreciate you. So check out uh, Adam Abdi. What are you on Instagram? Uh, Adam underscore comedian. Okay. Just in case I wasn't funny from my videos. <laughs> no, this guy does a lot of stuff on his Instagram. We didn't even talk about your gig with the uh, Naivas, you guys. Man. Ah, yeah. Huh? You guys had so many questions. I think he'll have to come back again. Yeah. yeah. You guys naivas will be catching, catching, bra. Kali Peña. Huh? Yeah. How did you feel when they called you out? That felt. Uh, when you nice. called, they called you up. Yeah, it was like they called you out for nice. what? <laughs> <laughs> Check it, me. Wait, man, no such a thing. It it felt good. Right? Yeah. Did you wanna? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. That one will do it with George. Ah, I feel cool. like this one we don't want to yeah. start plugging things, you guys. Yes. So can you not George? Yes. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, this guy is really trying to hip on that day of story. No, I'm not hipping. What, what do they... Take a final, but you don't have a bag. What do the Nziggas want to hear? No, it's me who wanted to hear. This is normally yeah. my curiosity. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, the, you're just chilling. These guys call you out of the blue? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think somebody might have mentioned me. Because they were looking for 11 creative Kenyans from to cover you know, all the demographics. Uh-huh. So, we had a man. So, why is Ribia there? <laughs> I mean, to cover for uh, <laughs> people with learning disabilities. So people bomb. <laughs> Creatively. Uh-huh. Yeah, Rubia catches a lot of strays. Dog. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah? Yeah, they were trying to go for uh, 11 creative Kenyans to cover all the demographics, all the bases. Uh, so, that's why they didn't go for you. Because sure. You guys may don't cover a, main, a certain creative base. <laughs> No. So who is it? Asking you, so we, Aman, had, we had me, uh, Aman, uh, Terence. Jackie, VK, ah, okay. Terence, Flacco, Trio Mio, uh, who else? Will Brother. Mm. So the full celeb. Did you feel imposter Mwala. syndrome being there? Either? Yeah, it, it was. It was surreal. Call back. <laughs> it was uh-huh. surreal for me. Yeah. It was so surreal for me, and and B, I was just yo, I was just trying to soak every every moment in because I was like yo, this is so dope. Uh, yeah, of course you you feel that, but then I was like we're in different you know uh, spaces. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so who called you? By this agency called True Tribe Agency, run by uh, founded by Roy Karuhizi. Oh nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, they called me. And they told me how much they're going to pay me. How much was it? They already told you what they, well, how much they're going to pay you on the first phone call. You, I mean, the lady, the the lawyer that called me, yeah, she she, she knows my sister. They went to law school together. Oh, mm. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we were just talking, like, okay, this is it. Because, I mean, you have to know. It was good money. It was good chums, yeah. Nice. I was like, yeah, that's that's good. So did they pay you one time on my installments? We had, like... I had like uh, myself and Aman, I think we had like, everybody had like two contracts. We had like the digital uh, contract, that's the social media influencing now, for mm-hmm. you to create content for them. And we had like the, the print and TVC now, the, using your picture, your, your, your material mm-hmm. on TV and okay. on billboards. They mm-hmm. paid you for that. Candle, Nengine, Candle. Yeah. yeah. George, we need some Bruh. of those guys in this decision. Shout out to, you know, uh, Roy, Roy Karukize. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm never getting that. I'm never getting a call back from these people again. See you guys. You're gonna get yeah, yeah. Roy Karuhize and uh, True Tribe Agency for 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 you know. Well, was it uh, like was it rough, especially the social media? They, did they keep calling? Not really. Was it bothersome? No, we they just sent us like a few things to to push. Uh, we had a, like a digital template report. Like we just write the number of you know views, story views, uh, the content, like engagement. It basically, it was fun, especially the shooting. Mm. You, are, they, they came for me at home. They were picking us, Damn. dropping us. Damn. So we shot like for two days, two whole nights at uh, Naivas Prestige. Okay. The the Nakumat, Kitambo. Uh. Yeah, yo, they they came for us. So me and Kosa would see chilling the van you come got inside kapata jemutai jemutai was also part of that yeah 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 Jem- jemutai, jemutai shout out to her to shout out to her more yeah i'm in the building <laughs> orios you guys at least there was a more when he had more than room yeah so yeah it was me and jemutai in the van so we went and picked flaco yeah oh. it was surreal for me dog yeah. so we went to 
to prestige tukapana na wengine mwala magoha yo guys oh, to yeah, yeah. yo guys grew up watching dog tuko pale tuko make up yo i saw a man dog and a man hug do like yo hey i'm just happy you're here dog like this have a guy <laughs> my guy is in the building eh? yeah yeah i was hanging hang with a man the whole time just me and a man Mm. Yo, I'm, I'm going to grab something. Do you think this guy would come? I'm like, <laughs> do you think this guy would look at you like who the heck is this nigga? Yeah. Check your man following you while you're doing your prayers. Yeah. You're Aiden, can I join? I'm like, yeah, you can pray to what what's <laughs> We're guru. What? We guru. Yeah, me and a man were like this. Yeah. And like our scenes were different. Some, you know, our scenes were different. Like you. Were you ah, uh, you you're not in this scene. Ah, oh, fuck. No, you guys were bad. Me and a man were going everywhere together, bro. Like no, you. Nice to have someone. Like yeah, it's do. Yeah, yeah. We had trio me over there. This guy has a lot of shame. Yeah. He's come up to me and be like, "Yo. Yo, okay so. Mtia mtani kwa kwa shame ni gani?" I'm like, "Sim the same time." Yeah, the guy did fight with you. you MTH. MTH. <laughs> And a man is like yeah I yeah that's that's new. No but I was happy to see you guys. Yeah team, man. we had fun. And yeah. I wasn't like I mean we kidogo we were like uh, you know closed off kidogo but I was trying to have fun genuinely yeah. I was trying to connect with these people. Yeah. I was trying to soak up the experience dog. Yeah. We yeah. went to make up the first time I had makeup done on me dog. Yeah hey, you guys congrats on getting makeup. Bro. Thank you. That's like Wait I I'm, I'm hoping we get all of us get such things on the regular. Inshallah. Okay, we'll be Inshallah. parking our Mercedes Benzes up a chini tunapanda hapa juu tunachapa pod. Yeah. We shit on the shit hole toilet and leave you there. Yeah, my guy. My name is Iman Wainame. I'm a Wainame. Where where Wainame? Yeah, but I I I hope I hope for that. Like what I was trying to the, the thing I was struggling with is not to like uh be like blown away by these opportunities that I lose myself. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like it's easy to be like mind blown like oh this is I'm like no. For me I went into that knowing I like I'm 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 humble enough to know that these people most of them don't know about me. And that's cool but like I, I uh, I'm destined for greatness. Yeah. So it's like yo my greatness can can coexist with this person's greatness. So like I wasn't feeling like inferior or anything. In my head I'm like yeah, um this is merit based. This people saw my work and they yeah. they wanted me on this one. Yeah, true. Yeah. You Hopefully guy, we can we can, we can we can be doing this on the regular. You guys you're welcome, man. Yeah. This place is an open space for comics to come through and uh, mm-hmm. do their thing, you guys. What do you so think this you. nigga is here, guys? I think he loves me. Guys, bored. I'm an employee brain jobless. That's why I'm here. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> That's true, guys. You guys, thanks for coming through. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Check uh, Aiden Abdi out, guys. Cheers. Appreciate you. Thank See you so you much for watching. Cheers. Bye.